Welcome to the Aftermarket Report with Vegas and Jim. Today's date, November 18th, 2019. And what a great day today. Miss Vegas has a wonderful watch list of five for us. Yeah, so you know what? What a beautiful day it was today. I actually thought I wasn't sure how the market was going to behave today. Uh, but you know what? It actually was pretty damn good. So we're going to talk about Facebook, Coty, Disney, Netflix, and NVIDIA. So I just want to talk about absolutely Facebook. I mean, that had a nice open, um, you know, low of the day on the stock was at 193.05. Kept watching this to break over the 195. And let me tell you, took advantage of that um, alerted. Jim can show you there. We alerted today the Facebook calls at $200 for the strike expiring November 22nd. Those were alerted when they were 39 cents, which is $39 and Boom, these went all the way as high as 183, over 300% gains. A lot of people took profits in the 150s, 160s. Um, some took profits and then rebought these again on the pullback. So we'll definitely be watching Facebook for continuation. And I'd like to hear, Jim, from you on Facebook because we kept seeing this um, flagging and then breaking out and oh, yeah. building up another flag. So what can we see from Facebook? based on how it's currently acting and how the chart has closed. All right, on the yearly chart, you see we had a 208.66 high and right now we're at 197.40, closed after hours. And it has bounced off the 200 day EMA four times, almost five, four times here this year. And she just keeps running up, bounces on that nine, crosses up over that 34 and that that 200 she starts taking off especially when she respects that nine as you can tell over here on the 20 day so I'm gonna pull up the 20 day right now we're gonna to try to find a support area which I'm thinking maybe your first support's gonna be right in here right around the 197 13 area you can see where we had this high right here so that's kind of a resistance level support level We'll change that into a red line, so I'll remember that Monday, or tomorrow, Tuesday. That's going to be your first little support. Then your next one's going to be right down here. That's going to be that 195.66. So we're going to change that to a red line, too. Just in case you decide to pull back, I'll get back in this tray. So we got that. Then we got another one. Oh, it's kind of hard to see, but. I'd say that other one's probably going to be right down in here, right around 194.91. I'm going to change that else into a red line. And those are going to be our three support areas. Then our resistance areas. And we'll pull this up when I pull up this six month. So the next resistance areas, we're at 197.40. And we've gone ahead and chalked that on up. So let's look at this 20 day one more time. Okay, so your your low support is going to be right around 194.91. And that second support is going to be right here around 195.70, 68. And then that first one's going to be right here at 197.10. Then your resistance levels that we need to break are going to be that 198.24 all the way up to 199.63. And that's Facebook. And definitely a great call today, Miss Vegas. Good job. Yeah, congratulations to many. And also, if you follow us on StockTwits and also on Twitter, I did put that um, live alert as well and mentioned the different kinds of calls we were taking at that time. And, and boy, if you saw that, you would have known to get those contracts. Okay, so now we're going to talk about Coty, C-O-T-Y. I got to tell you, Kylie Jenner, what a smart woman. Uh, love what she does and uh, so impressed the fact that she's so young and just does not look back and just go, go, go. Uh, so Kylie Jenner obviously uh, sold a 51% uh, stake and to the company called Coty and um, they're giving her $600 million for it and the transaction will close in the third quarter of 2020. So we're talking basically another year from now. Um, she's gonna own still 49% of Kylie Cosmetics. She will be obviously 
very involved in the product development and the marketing, uh, especially on social media. I mean, for those of you that do follow her or know of her uh, from being one of, you know, uh, sisters of the Kardashians, um, she has 270 million followers across her platforms. Uh, Koti obviously also is the parent company of CoverGirl and of Sally Hansen. So they're definitely looking to appeal to the younger demographics. And um, they're very excited about this partnership. Um, but again, she will now own 49%, but she's still going to own a lot. I mean, one of the things I love about her story, you know, she made her money when she was, you know, at the age of 18 from a lot of her modeling um, that she was doing when she was a bit younger. And then she started with her lip line and those were going on at $29. And eventually... Uh, she went into the eyeshadow business and then, you know, expanding into skincare. But this is what social media can do. She's had no marketing expenses. She does basically all the marketing practically on her own from her social media pages. And the business has been extremely profitable from the beginning. And all this time, she's only had like seven full-time employees. I mean, that is just insane. Uh, so definitely we can see probably a lot more with Koti. They want to basically have a global footprint to also expand the Kylie Beauty brand internationally uh, because a lot of her branding right now is just in the U.S. and Koti has distribution channels in the world. So this could be a really great opportunity to also expand the Kylie brand out there. Um, and so this is going to be a stock to watch and I'm liking it. I'm long on it and I want to see where it's going to go. So, Jim, what can we see with this Koti chart? I'm sitting here analyzing the chart. It's had a pretty good mm -hmm. little bounce on the year. Can't quite describe what kind of chart this is. Kind of a head and shoulders with a pullback to this low support of 874. And then she went ahead and bounced up on the year. And then she hit resistance and then pulled back today. You see the resistance up here at 1342. I have a 1320, more strong. And then it went ahead and pulled on back. And then today, after that news came out, it had the big breakout this morning and kind of just puttered around all day long. So I'm, I'm not sure which way this is going to go tomorrow, but I'm going to say the low support it needs to hold is going to be this 1146. And then you've got another one right here, right around 1188. And that's going to be, let me get this thing over here, right, right in here. You can see where we had this little channel. So that's going to be your second support, and then your first one's going to be right here at 1210. And then we got to break the resistance of 1234. We're at 1222 after hours, and she could go ahead and break on back up to these previous highs that we had had up in here, which is right about up in here, which is right around the 1320. That's going to be a hard resistance to break. But if it can break past that, then you're going to go to that, that 1340. So low support of 1146, and then the high resistance that we need to break is going to be 1320, and that's going to be C-O-T-Y. Next one's going to be one that everybody knows, and that's called Disney. Yes, and so um, we want to mention here that uh, Dis uh, Mickey Mouse had his birthday. So thank you, Jim. Yep. Uh, they, actually, him and Minnie. They're both turning 91 today. That is so cute. Um, so Disney, you know, it's one of my, uh, I really like the company, really like what the stock's doing. Uh, we know about the Disney Plus with the, with the competition with the Netflix and Roku and all those other people in the same uh, TV space. Uh, we see, you know, earlier today that, you know, Disney had a low of day of 143.69. A really nice high of day there at 149.04. Um, but, you know, it's, it has pulled back from that uh, spot. We're around 147.65. Um, so there's still an opportunity here on Disney. Um, and, Jim, let's hear about the chart. I know that, you know, there were some comments out there in social media. You know, they were talking about Disney. And they were saying that, you know, there's some features with the TV, uh, uh, with the Disney Plus that, you know, um, our people don't really like. And um, they're, you know, going to have to obviously look to improve some of that. I mean, again, they're new to that. Uh, so there's going to be a lot of things Disney's going to be working on. Um, and uh, probably we'll see, we'll see how it affects uh, Netflix. Uh, but definitely, as you can see, Disney is a hit 
Uh, everybody knows they have an iconic library. They're very well known for the franchises that are behind it. And they're advertised nonstop. And we know that they had like 10 million users in its debut. Um, so lots to come from Disney. So let's hear about the chart, Jim. All right. Well, here's a yearly chart. We did have a yearly high last week at 150.63. We do have a low support here at 143.85. It's going to be this little section right here. We did pull back to that after we did have that big breakout at 150.63, and she did pull back. So today was another just nice little grab. Miss Vegas alerted this to me, and I jumped right in it. Did pretty good. I as everybody knows, I've started an options challenge from 800 to, I think, around 58 in a matter of five five weeks. This is week number five. So we're going to pull up the 20-day on Disney, get a little bit better look at it. I see one support level right in here, right at 140.81. Now, this has had a very nice run. I mean, 128 all the way up to 150 and then she kind of pulled back here last uh, Thursday and Friday and then she had that nice little rebound today so we could be consolidating in a new channel and the low support on this new channel is going to be 140.81 that's going to be a strong buy if it ever gets down to that low your third support or your low your second to low support is going to be right around this 143.85 Maybe a little bit higher, right around the 144.20, 29, somewhere in that area. That's going to be kind of your resistance level, your support level for it. It decides to pull back. That's going to be number three. Number two is going to be right here, right at 144.95, and then you've got this 146.01. But I like to see it hold, and I'm in this trade as a swing trade in my options challenge. I do believe it can break the resistance of 150. 149.96 and this is what I've got on today I got in Disney got 232 on it and then I also bought in Microsoft in the money at 108 so I brought it up $340 today and the liquidated value is $55,889.36 and I'm gonna go over that chart one more time Low support right down at 140.81. Then the second support channel is going to be that 143.85 to 144.29. And then you go ahead and stop these charts at any time. Write these numbers down. Just remember they come from my love stocks. And then resistances that we need to break is going to be that 148.23 and that 149.96. But as I'm going through these charts, I kind of show you where I see point out strong supports and resistance levels so that's just something you want to just keep watching the videos and keep learning from me and the next one we're going to talk about is going to be netflix yeah netflix amazing i mean look i mean this stock at one point was a lot more money than what it is trading at today i mean we could see netflix um you know high of day here excuse me earlier today was at 304.90 and i was thinking it was going to go to 305 but what a move, you know, Netflix has really had. Uh, definitely saw a huge volume surge towards the close. Definitely keep this on your watch. I am telling you, I am also seeing um, some money flowing into Netflix. And what I've been seeing are option contract call expiry. Um, I'm seeing a lot for December and November, but the ones for November are the 305s. And the ones for December are the 310s and the 325s. So I saw some really good money going into those ones for December, um, the 325 strike and the 310 strike. Um, so definitely keep a watch on Netflix because, you know, Netflix, even though there is competition with a company like Disney, you know, Netflix is also has a lot of earnings per share growth coming up in the next five years. I was reading an article here on Seeking Alpha. Uh, shout out to Michael Hennage who wrote the article um, and um, he, you know, did mention that, you know, um, Netflix is definitely a uh, plan is very simple. What their plan is going to be is to just keep creating original content to fill their catalog and um, they have definitely poised for a lot of growth in the next uh, few years. So the fact that Netflix is not over 
I mean, you know, it's not because Disney's around. It's just more competition. But Netflix is just also getting started. There's so much positive free cash flow in sight um, that Netflix for sure has a uh, good opportunity also to continue the growth in the stock. So, you know, it has had its little pullback because of, you know, these announcements of these other uh, plus channels and plus services coming out, which are, you know, in the same field as Netflix. But that doesn't mean Netflix is not a good company and that it's not going to be one to still have. And, you know, I just want to mention one last thing. You know, I'm a Netflix user and a lot of people are also and some people are going to be subscribing to Disney Plus. And there's a lot of people I talk to people I know that have a lot of kids and they said, you know what, we have both and they're subscribing to both and they're not going to be canceling one and keeping the other because they said a lot of the shows that are on one network are very different on the other. So I really think there's just an opportunity for both companies to do well. But hey, um, you know, remains to be seen, I guess, only ever we see the next earnings report. But definitely seeing some strong money flow coming through on net, on uh, Netflix. So Jim, let's hear about Netflix, please. Yeah, all of Netflix free for 30 days. So it looks like they got a promotion started here today. And I'm showing it in the video, so if you don't have Netflix, you can get your free 30 days for it. Free 30 days. So let's look at the chart. Yearly charts highs, double top up here, right around the 386 area, 385.99. And she definitely had that hard sell off and that pullback. And I, I just thought that was way too much. But, I mean, it would have been a great stock to short. And then we've been calling this out ever since it was down here at 154. And now we're up here at almost 100% at 302.57. This was a huge breakout today for this trade. We had to break a resistance level right here, right around the uh, the 294.20 area. Actually, maybe a little higher. At 290. Yeah, 294.32, somewhere in that area. But we broke that, and we ran up, and we broke all them other resistances. So we have a new high up here. New resistance high, and that's going to be right here, right around the 304.15. And I'm going to pull up the 20 day, try to find the support. So we know low support is going to be right here where that resistance that we had to break it, 294.40. That was the hard resistance that we needed to break. And we did have a two week channel right in here. So we did have the, the Thursday, Friday, and then today the breakout. So I expect this to pull back a little bit. You know, I don't want to see it go no lower than this number right here. I'd say probably right around the 296, 24. I'm going to bring it down just a little bit. I'm going to adjust this. 295.76, no lower than that. So I'm going to go ahead and chalk this up to a red line so I can remember that. That's going to be my low support. And I do believe I can also call this other one that we had to break the resistance at 294.42. So let's call that the low one. This will be the third. I have sometimes I have four different supports, but I mean, this is, these are going to be your low lows. Okay. So I do expect it to pull back a little bit. But the way these stocks have been running lately, they can just take off and just keep going with the momentum. I'm very bullish on our economy to begin with. So we got a resistance that we got to break. It's going to be at 302.55 and that's where we are right now after hours and then the next resistance is going to be at 304.15. So these are going to be your support areas. That first one down here at 299.48, 298.45 and then maybe if it just dives on down this is going to be your low right here at 295.69. But what a beautiful day today on Netflix. I'm going to pull up the yearly chart, see if we can find another resistance. I see one right there. I think I've got that one on there. So I'm going to... Kind of hard to adjust, but there we go, right there. We'll bring us back to the 20-day. Okay, so we got... Pivot point support area right here at 302.55. If it pulls back, that will be your first resistance. Your second one's going to be 304.15. And 
and then 305.65. But yeah, what a beautiful trade on Netflix. And then the last one we're going to talk about is going to be NVDA. Oh, yeah. I just want to talk about NVIDIA because, you know, a week ago they had very strong uh, third quarter numbers that could definitely get the stock re-rated. I mean, they beat earnings. The revenues were um, over $3 billion ahead of expectations. Uh, they outperformed the analysts by a solid 16%. Um, so I think uh, definitely keep this NVIDIA on your watch because the target right now like let me just see here what was what was the close gym on nvidia can here, you let me know 212.28 and we had a year high okay. of 213.35 okay so the analysts are looking to see um they're bullish on the stock and they're looking at around analyst value again this is what you know what they're saying they're not always mean it's always accurate but they're looking to see nvidia down the road uh 275 a share uh for the ones that are bullish they're looking around 275 uh so longer term so we do see that they definitely do expect nvidia's growth to accelerate also a forecast of a 29 percent growth um and so comparing to other companies in the same market um they're definitely looking to also grow the revenue about 7.1 percent next year so definitely it looks like that the growth outlook is brighter than it has been in the past and that they also are expecting NVIDIA to grow faster than the wider market. So this has to be on your watch again and watch NVIDIA because I think it's ready and getting, you know, it's about to get started now that the earnings are out of the way. And there's a lot of analysts bullish on this. I think it's about 38 different analysts uh, that were also on this conference call. So that's great to see that many that are interested. So definitely keep that on watch there. Jim, let's hear about NVIDIA, our final one for tonight. Anytime I see earnings in the billions, I get very excited about a stock. We've got one right here. It's in the billions. So, you know, the with the, all, all the wars have been going on with AMD and NVIDIA and all the chip makers, and then we've got the, the TV stuff going on and the shows just... Got to watch these sectors. So let's pull up the yearly. We are at a year high right now. We did break a resistance level that we needed to break at 195.13. And that's right there that I'm talking about. Right here, as you see on that yearly chart. And then we've got the 20 day, which we were in a pretty good 10 day channel. She did try to break up and pull back and hit support level, which was a previous high. And then she went ahead and ran up and had five tops. And then we broke out of that fifth one today. And she went ahead and ran on up. So I'm going to put a little resistance right there. 212.89 is where I'm going to put mine. Let's look at the 20 day now. So we've got to put another one in here somewhere. So let's find one. It could be right there. Or it could be right there. And I'm going to put it right there right there because that's kind of this little indication right in here and we're hitting a lot of good equilibriums all the way down so that's going to be like another support and you got another one right here I'm going to chalk that one in so we got a resistance to break and that's going to be this 212.89 to bring it up another five bucks up to 217.61 or she'll pull back to this low support level in this area right in here and that's going to be right around that 207.34 to 208.57. But if she holds, and then that first support is going to be this 211.20. The resistance that we got to break is going to be that 212.89. But we formed a channel, consolidated for a good two weeks. And then Friday, she just kind of pulled back and played dead. Had a descending pattern, but she broke out today. So broke all the resistance levels. So that's a, that was a beautiful trade from 204.50 or even lower than that as it dipped down in the morning to 203.10 all the way up to around 212.89. So yeah, beautiful chart. Pull back low support, 204.05, low, 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 low. But I think it'll pull back to this 208.87 at the most. 
and then just keep on building up but we kind of broke out of the channel but I'm not going to give it that gratitude yet until I see it break this resistance of 212.89 and start building above it and that's NVDA and that concludes the market report Miss Vegas beautiful calls today in options land and it seemed like it was kind of a mellow day today yeah, I just, just found kinda... that the day flew by, and I think uh, we had a great day today. I just found the time was just moving so fast. Well, one thing, and that, uh, yeah, one thing that you and I are picking up is we're not rushing any more into these trades. We're letting that first fifteen half hour kind of set the tone of the day, and and I've noticed that here lately a lot that we've been really kind of a little more patient and jumping in these trades, trying you know just calling supports on them and but that first 15 to a half hour of the day can tell you and dictate how you want to trade the rest of the day so that's all i want to say and anything else no thank you everyone for listening subscribing liking commenting and um again come by anytime and we're happy to see you happy to help you and um, we'll see you again tomorrow on our market update. Have a great evening. All right. This is the aftermarket report with Vegas and Jim. Today's date, November 18, 2019. And we wish everybody a great week coming up. And we love stocks.